pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. For those two people that are watching, this is a new uh, a new way we start our meetings with the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, our Jonathan Ruder asked if we would do that. I think that's a great idea. And uh, so that'll be our format before we start every meeting. So, uh, September 9th. Number one, vote to approve the minutes of the August 12, 2022 regular meeting. So moved. I make that unanimous. We've signed a vote to approve the August motor vehicle abatements in the amount of three thousand thirty-three dollars and four cents. So moved. Unanimous. Vote to approve the supplemental real estate tax in the amount of seven thousand three hundred ninety-two dollars and sixteen cents. So moved. This is the stuff between January and June that we never used to pick up. Correct. Okay. Just for the people that are listening. Uh, we used to stop as of January 1st. How it stood January 1st. Yeah, yeah. As, as the property stood as January 1st. So if you're building a new house, adding an addition, or had your house burned down on January 2nd, um, you were kind of screwed. We couldn't do anything for you. But the legislature passed a, uh, a law, or I'm not sure if it's a law or whatever it is. It is. It's a, it's that I said know. that we can go out from January to June to look for new assessments on new construction, new additions, et cetera. So the anyway, building, it's called the building grant. Yeah, if the building, if the building increased more than 50%, then we prorate the bill from- so How do you handle additions then? If it, it most oh. additions are not 50% That's what I mean. more in increase, so we, we pick that up as regular Okay, so growth. sheds and all the rest of that? We, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is really just new construction. Yep. Okay, we'll make that unanimous. Old business, building permits are complete for fiscal year 2022. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I, we must have had a substantial increase. We, I think we're up to 150,000 in new growth. Wow. Yeah, yeah, as a matter of fact, it's 146,628. I added more <laughs> the property yesterday. <laughs> okay, so we're working closely with Jerry Crean, who is our Department of Revenue representative, to work closer to completion of our fiscal year 2023 evaluation. We have a tentative meeting on Thursday to September 15th to go over the work plan and determine what step is next in the process. So, have they certified all our values? Oh no, no, we're not even, that'll be in October. Okay, so what's the meeting for? To, to go over the work plan, he's gonna go over our field review, make sure there's nothing that needs to be changed. He's gonna- Okay, so go over the current work plan. The current, not a new one. Not a new one, okay. no. And um, he's going to advise us what we need to. For example, I had to send him samples of the chapter lands, three different chapter lands along with their deeds, their liens. Gotcha. I had to send field cards for all of, all of you, myself, um, for them to review to make sure we're assessing ourselves oh, no properly. Oh, yeah. That's new, isn't it? No, that's that's every reval. Yeah. Oh, I didn't do like um, that. We never sat it out that way. Back in 78. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there, there's a bunch of different things he's, he's going to look at. Um, oh, that's pretty cool. The RCODs and um, our medians and all that. and Let us know if we need to do anything. So this is the work plan and the work product presented by the Reval Company. Correct. Okay. And then we'll... Um, uh, I talked to John. We're putting the article back on to start the cyclicals in the spring. Good. So it'll be over a five-year period. He says he's going to put it on there. I don't believe it's going to get passed over so we can start. Okay. So for the public, the Department of Review, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts has uh, promulgated laws that state that we have to do a complete reval, 90% every 10 years, right? And then in between, we do the interim so that what we've done is we've taken that whole cost and divided by five so that we don't have, get hit all at once. We take the, if it was 100 grand, it's more than that, but if it was 100 grand, we'd take 20,000, 20,000, 20,000 each year to fund that because we can't start the reval without it being funded. 
<laughs> and if we don't do the reval, we don't get a, a tax rate. If we don't get a tax rate, very nasty things happen. We have to borrow money. And I've been here when you've done that. It's not a pretty picture. And the, and the taxpayers can expect people knocking on their doors from Vision Government Solution in the, once once the fundings have passed to start the cyclicals. They'll get mailers in the mail. Um, and we have to see 10 percent of our. The 10 or are we doing the 90% this time? We're doing everything. We're doing every, okay. We're doing 100%. Oh, this is the full reveal. We're doing a full reveal, but the cyclicals are where we have to get into every yep. single house. Yep. yep. And that's 100%. We don't get into 100%. But no, I thought it was 90 that you had to get into. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, they can't yeah. really mandate because people don't have to let us in their houses. That. So. Yep. Okay, so that's what we're doing with the. The money that we're trying to get each year. So new business currently on new growth value is twelve million five hundred thirty-two thousand two hundred ninety-seven dollars, which is a revenue increase of one hundred forty-six thousand six hundred twenty-eight dollars. Again, for you people that are listening, the new growth we can tax at two and a half percent. Everything that existed before nineteen seventy-eight, we are at I think one five six. And we were, had to stay there. We were penalized for being very frugal, as opposed to a city like Worcester that was at two and a half percent and stayed there. Actually, they were at three and a half percent and had to drop down for those. Wow. That were. Um, so we're that one forty six is is uh, a nice big number. It, uh, I think we budgeted what one hundred and twenty for new growth. Mm -hmm. So we've exceeded our our uh, budget, which is always a good thing. So the real estate uh, research consultants are currently conducting inspections at local businesses for personal property. We are expecting more new growth from these inspections. Okay, we are going to vote to hold the next meeting October 14th. Yeah, yeah, I'll be back, yeah, I'm, I'll be here. All right, I'll be here, so we'll make that unanimous. Um, we need to vote to adjourn the public meeting because we're going to go into <coughs> executive session is that correct? Okay. Do I have to say anything anymore? We used to have this long thing to recite. That was the COVID one. You, okay. So, so you just have to, <coughs> excuse me, vote to adjourn this meeting and then read number nine. Okay, so we shut Teddy off? Not yet. We got to adjourn first and read number well, nine. Yeah, oh, yeah. And then, then Ted can shut off. Okay. So I need a vote to uh, adjourn the public heat meeting. So moved. That'll make that unanimous. Mr. Ted, we got to shut you off. Well, read number nine first. Read number nine first. Thank you. <laughs> we want to shut her off. Not yet. No, not, not yet. yet. I'm, I'm, I'm premature closing. <laughs> Vote to convene into executive session under MGL Chapter 30A, 21A7 to comply with or act under the authority of any general or special law or federal granted aid requirement. Discussion of application for tax abatements and or exemptions, including any necessary votes pursuant to GL Chapter 59 and 60, and or GLC 214, 1B, as applicable. Not to reconvene and to commit. Not to reconvene into regular session. Roll call vote. So we're not going to reconvene into this, what we're in now, the regular meeting. Okay. So now you have to do a roll call vote. <laughs> <laughs> I need that vote. David Derg and I. Uh, and we'll make that unanimous. So now, Ted, you get to uh, go home early. <laughs>